Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so that was my base cover of Drain You by Nirvana. Cool. Okay, so this is the version that is from Nevermind. And because of that, we are tuned a whole step down from standard tuning and we are in D standard tuning. Simple as that. Just tune every string down a whole step and you are good to go. Okay, so as most of you guys know, I am what I would call at least a guitarist not a bass player, right? Therefore, I do think there are some similarities between the guitar and the bass. You know, there's definitely some kind of like transfer over from one to the other. I mean, if you know how to play the guitar, then to some degree, what you know how to do will transfer over to playing the bass, but they are definitely two different animals. When I was learning this song on the bass, I literally had to listen to the isolated track of Chris just playing the bass lines in the studio because I wanted to play it so much like a guitarist as opposed to a bass player. And I think in my unboxing video I did of my bass guitar, I did play this riff, but I played it very much in the style of Kurt Cobain, not Chris Novoselic. Yeah, like I said, after listening to the isolated bass performance of it, it definitely gave me more of an ear to like, you know, the style of bass playing and what bassists tend to do, Chris Novoselic at least anyway. Um, I'd realised that playing the bass is definitely a different approach to playing the guitar, but I never really sort of looked into it that much. I could always hear like Chris's bass lines in the background, sort of like doing something slightly different to what Kurt's guitar was doing. And I always found that fascinating and I wanted to sort of like, you know, decrypt what was going on with that. And um, yeah, I've been really enjoying playing the bass. So yeah, it's been fun sort of like looking at the music from a different dimension, I suppose. <laughs> or a different angle, dimension sounds a bit weird. <laughs> so as I said, this is a song that's in D standard tuning. So we're a bit lower than just normal standard tuning, I guess. Now it's quite funny really, because this is a cover that I filmed at least quite a while ago. And because it was some time ago now, I couldn't actually remember which version of it I like sort of performed for the cover because on Nevermind it's in D standard tuning, but then for a lot of the live performances, I think they did this in just standard tuning or E standard tuning, I guess you could say. And um, it's, I sort of had to go back and like review the footage to sort of like scrutinize which version of it I did because it was so long ago that I literally could not remember. <laughs> Yeah, I literally had to sit there and like listen to my version of the song and play along sort of thing to sort of like realize whether I was in like standard tuning or D standard tuning, I guess. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've like played the guitar because as most of you guys know, I injured myself a while ago and it's still not better yet and it's really annoying me because it's been like two months now and I've been walking past my guitars every day but I've literally not been able to play them and it fucking sucks. <laughs> Seriously, it's starting to piss me off. I have spoken to the doctor and they basically just said that they're going to refer me to a physiotherapist and I have literally heard nothing. <laughs> so I've been kind of like doing my own physio stuff with it and trying to sort of like deal with it. It's definitely getting better. So, you know, I'll be hopefully playing guitar again soon, hopefully. I'm so glad that when I had a week off work back in June, I filmed like a bunch of covers because if I hadn't done that, I would not be posting videos right now. So that was a good call. <laughs> a good bit of foresight there from myself, I think. Um, yeah, so it's a lot better than it was anyway. So, you know, at this rate of healing, I should be better within like a couple of weeks or a month at the most, hopefully. I can sort of play for a bit, but I definitely can't strum chords. I can only do like picking type stuff. Uh, I don't mean to win John about it and keep talking about it, but it's something that's really bothering me. And I just wanted to explain to you guys why I'm not sort of like fulfilling your requests and sort of posting very often, really. Um, yeah, it's just because, you know, I'm sort of working with an injury at the moment and it sucks. It's definitely a lot better than it was, as I said, but it's just... It's just these tendons along here, man. I can't, I can't strum properly or anything, and it's just really annoying. Now, a lot of people at work seem to think I did it playing the guitar, and I can assure you, I did not, okay? Because <laughs> I injured it the evening that I actually did the 
uh, Seymour Duncan hot rails, like pickup swap on my Sunburst Strat. And I either did it while I was soldering or I did it while I was editing. I can't remember which because my wrist had been hurting all day anyway. But I felt it go that evening and ever since then it's been like agony. So, I don't know. It's been a couple of months now anyway. I just wanted to dispel that because like I said everybody at work seems to think I did it playing the guitar and they kind of It almost seems like they like the fact that I did it doing something that I like as opposed to just you know doing it randomly I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. <laughs> anyway, um Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry to moan about my wrist again, but you know it is what it is. Um, if you did enjoy the video and you haven't already, please feel free to hit like and subscribe and all those awesome things that you guys always do. Hopefully I shall see you guys in the next video and hopefully I, should be, I shall be able to actually play the guitar again sometime soon. Cool, man. Uh, yeah, take it easy. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>